if you look at just look at trading volumes for crypto in between 2020 and 2021, we have seen trading volumes, you know, a daily volume has gone up from about $50 billion per day to $100 billion, $100 billion a day. Whereas, you know, um, regular, um, you know, NASDAQ's trading volume has gone from basically flat at $200 billion throughout the entire um, year. So I think you, you, as we've seen more participation in Web3 and Web3 here, here is here to stay, you can only imagine um, all crypto is going to be very hot going into 2022, let alone Bitcoin itself. So that's kind of where the prediction actually came from. Can I bring up an early correlation, though, because we have seen a, a little bit of a wobble for the big technology names around concerns that we will see a high interest rate environment in next year. But if you look at the trade around Bitcoin, there's a very similar correlation into year end. There's been some weakness in that trade. Do you think that it will be able to withstand any threat from higher rates? Oh, I'm sure that everything is subjective. I'll tell you, as we have seen in March of 2020, when the whole market went down, Bitcoin also goes down. So I don't think Bitcoin is completely immune from volatility itself. But if you look at it as a hedge, as your previous speaker was talking about, it really is a terrific long-term hedge for currency volatility as well. So it's not only that, but also you look at the activities in Web3, which will involve not just Bitcoin, but all the other layer one uh, type cryptocurrency. It's going to be a lot of activities going into 2022. That's give us hope and I think a lot of optimism that of all crypto-based um, products going to do really well in the 22. Alfred, I want to talk about the VC world because you don't sound as optimistic about that space uh, given the, the interest rate story. We've had plenty of unicorns over the course of 2021. I mean, they're meant to be somewhat elusive, hard to find, but 917 unicorns. What's the challenge from here around valuations? Well, valuations has gone up a lot. Uh, throughout the last two years, from the end of 2020 all the way through 2021, and, and to a point where we are seeing not only 917 unicorns, we are seeing actually 46 decathlon. And that number likely will continue to grow to maybe perhaps close to 100 decathlons into 2022. We actually um, invested into two of them, FTX and Databricks, two marvelous companies. Um, but, you know, Ultimately, this all comes down to fundamentals. So we may see some headwinds going into 22 as the valuation is just basically is so high and we have instability in the world. We still have COVID. On top of it, we have interest rate hike that, you know, that's going to be trying to fight the inflation that we're dealing with. So that could be some of those um, activities that I think would be unpredictable going into 2022. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.